Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got more Washington Commanders offensive coordinator news. So the Commanders are requesting to interview Anthony Lynn for their offensive coordinator job. So I want to talk about that if I like the move and we'll talk about some other candidates as well. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the road to 11k. Takes one second. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I know someone who's watching is not subscribed. Also, real quick before we start, I will be streaming tomorrow on this channel with Ed Oliver. Should be a great, great stream. Make sure you guys pull up 8 p.m. Thursday, which is tomorrow. So, let's get into this real quick. So, the Commanders requested this from Nikki Jabala. So, the Commanders requested interview 49ers assistant head coach slash running backs coach Anthony Lynn for their offensive coordinator vacancy per source. So, that adds to the list of coordinator candidates. And before I get into Anthony Lynn, let's list all the guys. So Pat Shermer is a you know a big one. He's interviewed. He interviewed early, I believe, was the first one. Then you got internal candidate Ken Zampezi. You have Eric Studsfield, running backs coach for the Dolphins, I believe. He has survived three different regimes there. You know, people clearly like him, but he's been a running backs coach for a long time. Then you got Charles London. Atlanta Falcons running or not, you know, quarterbacks coach, but he's he's been a running backs coach as well. And then you have Thomas Brown, Rams tight end coach, but he's been a running backs coach, a, you know, in a lot in his uh, career, and was a running back in the NFL and running back at Georgia. So I believe I covered everyone. There might be someone I'm missing, but for the most part, those are the guys. Um, they wanted, you know, Daryl Bevel, but he declined. Same thing with Jim Schwartz. Maybe that comes up again if he doesn't get a head coaching spot. So, <clears throat> Anthony Lynn, former Chargers head coach, uh, you know, Bills, not Bills. Oh, yeah, he was with the Bills offensive coordinator there for a little bit, interim head coach there. Also, offensive coordinator for the um, Detroit Lions. So, <clears throat> do I love it? No, but let's get into his history. So, 2000 um, was when his coaching career started, was a special teams and offensive assistant coach for the Broncos for his first three years, then running backs coach slash assistant special teams coach for the Jaguars for a couple years, then was a running backs coach for two years in Dallas, two years in uh, Cleveland as a running, back, a running backs coach, the Jets, he was there for what, one, two, three, four years as a running backs coach, and then another two years as a his assistant head coach and running backs coach and then buffalo bills running backs coach and then with in 2016 he was a running backs coach assistant head coach interim offensive coordinator um interim head coach yeah a lot of different titles and yeah that, so that's that and then head coach for the chargers from 2017 to 2020 you know, 9-7, 12-4, and 5-11, and 7-9 and 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 were his records there. So, And then he was an offensive coordinator in 2021 for the Detroit Lions. They were not great. And then assistant head coach and running backs coach in 2022 for the San Francisco 49ers. So my take, you know, when I heard the name, I was like, ooh, Anthony Lynn. You know, that's kind of a big name. But then kind of thought about it a little bit. I was like, okay, head coach for a while was okay, not very successful, but about 500 as a head coach i mean two games under in 2020 six games so that's eight games under but eight games over in so a little bit over 500 as a coach uh head coach that's good uh struggled you know the last couple years for me just because you were not a great head coach doesn't mean you're not going to be a great offensive coordinator but the lions in 2021 weren't a great offense and they take took a huge step up in or this year with Ben Johnson, who's great, but you know Anthony Lynn got fired, I believe, and he moved on to be the 49ers assistant head coach and running backs coach. And I've heard some good things from 49ers fans in terms of what he did there, uh, but I'm not super super impressed with Anthony Lynn. Like this is definitely not one of my top targets, not one of my least favorite targets either, because he's clearly gonna have <laughs> like look at this. He's had what? 23 years or 22 years of coaching experience like he's clearly going to have respect from his players and i'm looking up real quick if he was a player i mean i believe he was a player as well um i i believe he was a player as well correct me if i'm wrong yeah he played in the nfl for six seasons okay so 
he he has a playing playing career coaching for 22 years <laughs> players are going to clearly respect him other coaches are going to respect him that is a plus for him and you know he has a lot of experience that's also a plus maybe the the negatives doesn't have a lot of upside doesn't have i mean you know he's only been an offensive coordinator for what maybe two years but he has what four years of experience as a head coach and i'm assuming he was calling the plays there so he's got a lot of experience and so that is a plus but the you know again i don't think he has a ton of upside and recently like last four years he hasn't done a ton he hasn't been very impressive especially in 2019 through 2021 not too sure about 2022 because it's more a behind the scenes position where you know running backs coach and assistant head coach versus you know offensive coordinator like you're the one calling the plays for the most part there's more results there you know you can really see more tangible results there and same thing with him being the head coach so i'm okay like would i be uh, elated if they you know hired him no would i absolutely hate it no uh, but I do think there's other better options out there. Thomas Brown, out of the options that they've requested, he's probably my number one. And then after that, I really don't love anyone else. Like maybe I'd go Eric Studsfield. But I feel like him, Eric Studsfield and Anthony Lynn are pretty similar in terms of both have a lot of experience, especially as running backs coaches. And I don't know if there's a lot of upside there. But that's it for today's video. Just want to give you guys a quick update uh, tomorrow we'll have the big stream. Make sure you guys pull up, please. Should be a great one. Appreciate Ed for coming on. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Peace, guys.